inspiration behind the straw bell tower, I think, came from wanting to make something that warms and insulates quite naturally, but also to make a kind of like um, maybe just a very primitive statement. Yes, it's something very vernacular and used in, during the winter. And uh, yes, the smell brings about a light fall or spring, you know, just uh, reminiscent of people that play in uh, straw bells when they were young. It's about creating a, an intimate sense of scale um, with the in, individual hut and, um, and then grouping them um, as a kind of small village. Uh, they have a sort of a live structure to them. They're simply bent plywood and they um, sort of move in the wind and uh, they start to recreate the sense of actually being on water even though it's frozen water. It, it, it represents a, a remarkable, very, very simple program uh, that allows you to really experiment and really play and I think that's sort of what we ended up doing and we had a lot of fun with this project. My project is called Under the Covers. Um, the concept is really simple. It's the idea of cutting a slice in the fabric of snow and actually pulling part of that fabric up to create shelter. Every person who's walked by the site has been really excited to see what's going up. There's been no complaints about cost or, oh, you're making noise or it's getting in the way. Everyone loves it. What we decided to do is use the firewood as the material both for making a fire in order to get warm, but also as the construction material of the hut. And uh, it's an ever-changing facade uh, which expresses this change of time and the users. So for us, you know, even to be on a frozen river, it's the first time we see it in our lives. To have the opportunity to, to present it, it's more than we could have asked for. <laughs> It's been a great thing to also see the transformation of it. As we spray the water, the shape changes, the form uh, moves a bit, and uh, it's, it's, very, it's very alive, and that's something that we were hoping for. And we feel that the work that we're doing there is obviously um, of, of equal caliber to the competition that's coming here, and we wanted to be able to participate in a way that brought uh, something, uh, some flavor from Winnipeg in a way.